When you have a use case that involves direct navigation, you need a way to let people pop around. I'm on screen one here, and instead of just clicking next to go to screen two, I might want to pop over to screen three and deal with screen three and then pop back to screen one before going to screen two, and then might want to hit a previous button to go to screen one just like normal. We call this direct access, and we've made it easier to set your flows up to do this by creating a package that gives you this is direct navigation header bar. And it's essentially a path component that's optimized for use in this particular uh, use case. So what I have done here is I have created a flow and you can see that the flow has an interesting appearance to it because when you're doing direct navigation you need a central decision element that acts as the router and every one of the screens instead of pointing at the next screen it points at the router it's basically saying I don't always want to go from screen one to screen two so I'm not even going to point from screen one to screen two. Instead, I'm gonna to point to the router and let the router figure out whether I should go to screen two or jump straight over to screen three. So how, how does the decision element figure this out? Well, if we take a look at it, you can see that I've got a path for each one of my screens. And if that path is true, then that's where the decision element is going to send the flow. So what is it checking? It's a pretty simple check. It's checking the value of something called target label. And it's simply checking to see if it's equal to the name. So where is target label coming from? Well, that's a variable that I created. Uh, and I created this variable so that I could take the clicks that are happening in these headers. The header, remember, is drawing this component. When I click on one of these, what the header component does is it takes the name of what I clicked on and it sets it right here to the target label variable. And every one of the screens is setting that same target label and that way that single decision element always knows exactly what the next target is. And you can see here that each one of these headers allows you to pass in the names. I've simply typed in the names that I want to see. So screen one, screen two, screen three. That's why this says screen one and screen two and screen three right here. You can also pass in a string collection if you want. Now, you may have noticed that there's also a component here called direct navigation footer. And what's this, this is designed to make sure that if you want to have next and previous buttons like you normally do, uh, and have them coexist with one of these direct navigation headers, then you need to use this custom footer because you'll recall, I pointed out, there's no pathway directly from screen one to screen two. So when you click this next button, it has to route through this this router here and the normal next previous button that you normally get if we double click let's go in here normally we've got the conventional footer on it's got this previous button this finish button that's normally normally how things work but that will not work when you're using a router based approach like this so this package the package that installs this direct navigation header also gives you a custom footer that gives you a next and previous button that you can craft to, to tell the decision element where to go. So you can see that from screen one, I've told, told it that, hey, if the user clicks the next button produced by this direct navigation footer, I want to set target label to screen two. And so that means that that will, you know, when I go from screen one and click next, it will go to screen two. When I, when I, here I am on screen two, when I click next, where do I want to go? Screen three. So I have to sort of manually hard code my normal next previous pathway if I want next previous to work, which is a little bit of work, but it does allow you to have both next and previous buttons and direct access navigation. Now, of course, you don't need to have next and previous buttons if your use case has sufficiently uh, gets what it needs with this direct navigation header, then you can you can dispense with the footer bar entirely. So useful uh, addition to the tools you can use to provide navigation uh, for flow screens. Good luck.